If you're trying to figure out whether Victoria is the right fit for you, then you've come to the right place. I'm Ainsley Gower, a local real estate agent, and I personally specialize in working with clients looking to buy or sell in Victoria, BC. But if you're looking to buy or sell anywhere else here on Vancouver Island, I can hook you up with a great agent within my network who specializes in the area you're considering. Today we're going to be discussing why some people move here, what it's like, my top five neighborhood picks, as well as some pros and cons. Moving to a new city is one of the hardest things to do. But by the end of this video, you may just feel inspired to take the leap, buy that plane ticket, pack your bags, and head out west to commence your new life here on the island just like you've been manifesting. More than 100,000 people moved to BC in 2021, setting a 60 year record. And between the years of 2014 and 2021, 89,000 people moved to Vancouver Island with about half of those coming to the capital region. So once a city with a reputation for being the newlyweds and the nearly deads, this city has evolved quite a bit to being a pretty cool place to live. People I have helped move here tend to be drawn to the island for similar reasons, some of which include they're seeking warmer weather, a slower pace of life, shorter commutes, less smoke from forest fires than other areas of BC have received in recent years, and they're also excited to live in a more nature-infused setting. Moving here can feel like a breath of fresh air, especially for those coming from larger cities like Toronto and Vancouver. And some would argue that they feel like they get more life out of their day here, as there is less of a rat race vibe on the island. One of the things I really like about Victoria is that no matter what your lifestyle is like, whether it's more outdoor adventurer or trendy city dweller, the vibrant city of Victoria has something to offer people of all walks of life. And it's entirely possible to create a sense of community anywhere you decide to set roots. But you've got to be prepared to put yourself out there a little, whether it's joining a golf group, mountain biking group, or hiking group. You can also check out meetup.com or Bumble BFF to meet some new great friends here on the island. Victoria has 13 municipalities and each of those municipalities have their own neighborhoods and each of those municipalities also has their own bylaws and regulations which vary from municipality to municipality. So it's not really something I'm going to dive into at all in the video today but just something I wanted to make you guys aware of. I am currently down on a beach in Oak Bay and it's a lovely cool-ish July day raining ever so slightly um, but so nice to be on here and to be able to connect with you guys. Choosing which neighborhood you want to settle in is one of the most challenging decisions people are faced with when moving here, which is understandable as there's over a hundred neighborhoods to choose from. So my top five neighborhood favorites are Fairfield for its walkability as well as being a great social hub. Oak Bay for its quiet tree-lined streets and gorgeous updated 100-year-old homes. Rockland for its historic, relaxing, and quiet vibe. East Saanich for its many parks, hiking trails, and peacefulness. And Vic West where one has the ability to easily walk or bike into downtown. Making the right decision on what area to live in is super important as it will dramatically impact what your experience is like living here. A house can always be updated or fixed, but you can't change its location, the vibe of your community, or your neighbors. So what are the pros and cons? Some of the pros are that there's plenty of year-round activities, we have the warmest and mildest climate in all of Canada, safe communities, less traffic or less traffic than larger cities like Vancouver or Toronto, plus the South Island invites easy spontaneity, unplanned agendas, and is a brunch paradise. Although it's the most populous area on Vancouver Island, it's still quiet enough to attract residents who treasure peace, serenity, and all kinds of holistic opportunities to stay fit and healthy, which is totally possible thanks to numerous parks, easy access beaches, recreation facilities, yoga studios, and two of Canada's best family hiking and biking roads, the Galloping Goose and Lockside Trails. 
Some of the cons include homelessness, drug abuse, poverty, crime, and housing affordability, which are at the top of the complaints list, along with how hard it is to get a family doctor here. It's expensive, with some items like food, gas, or groceries being more expensive than they are in Vancouver. However, the cost to rent or own in Victoria is still lower than Vancouver. It can be more challenging to travel, as many will need to go to Vancouver for larger shopping trips or specialist appointments. And international travel can also be a little bit more challenging and expensive from Victoria, as you will likely need to get one extra flight or hop on a ferry to get over to Vancouver. Victoria is a great city that's filled with great bars, restaurants, job opportunities, and its thriving community is globally recognized as one of the best in the world. It offers a multitude of neighborhoods, cultures, lifestyles, and experiences, along with a friendly and welcoming community. The quality of schools and Victoria's proximity to major centers like Vancouver and Seattle have all been contributors to its popularity. In my opinion, it really is the best place to live, work, or retire in Canada.